Alright, seventh grade, lesson 111. This is on dividing scientific notation. Now, before we do dividing by scientific notation, I want to review multiplying scientific notation. So, stay with me. Alright, here's what it says. 6 times 10 to the 6th power. Then that is going to be multiplied by 1.5 times 10 to the second power. All right. Do you remember the rules when you're multiplying scientific notation? No. No? Okay. Well, watch what I do. You're going to take your numbers, the first part of it, and you're going to multiply. Since we're multiplying, you're going to multiply the numbers, then you're going to do multiply the exponents. Okay? So let's multiply the numbers. 1.5 times 6 is 9.0. Okay? That's what I got. 9.0. All right. But we're not done. Okay? Next, you see this 6 and this 2? Do you know what happens to those? What? Okay? This would be... Um, for example, 10 to the 6th power is really what? Uh, it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times. Yes, which ends up giving me 6 zeros. And this one is 10 to the 2nd power, which gives me 2 zeros. And how many zeros total do I have? 8. So, we multiply the numbers we add the exponents when we're multiplying. So I'm multiplying this times this, but I multiply the numbers and I add the exponents. Okay, so here's what I did. 6 times 1.5 is 9. Times 10, and then 6 plus 2 is 8. And that's your final answer. 9 times 10 to the 8th power. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Okay, that is multiplying scientific notation. Now we're going to learn how to divide scientific notation. And it has similar qualities. Okay, so ready? Write this one down on your paper. Okay. 6 times 10 to the 8th power divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 6th power. Now, I told you we were dividing, but it looks like we're multiplying. Okay? You have to learn to see scientific notation as this is just what it looks like. And this is just what it looks like. But we are dividing. Because look, see our division bar? Mm -hmm. Alright, just like on the multiplying, we multiplied the numbers. So guess what we're going to do with our numbers here? We're going to divide our numbers. So, 6 divided by 1.2. 6 divided by 1.2. Okay? So, I'm going to do some math. And that ends up being 5. Okay? So, 6 divided by 1.2 gives me 5 point or just 5 as my answer. Okay? Times 10, that's how you always work it. You put your answer to 6 divided by 1.2 times 10. Now, when we are multiplying scientific notation, we added the exponents. Guess what we're going to do when we divide? We're going to subtract the exponents. Okay? So this actually is 8 minus 6. 2. 2. 2. See how we did it? Mm -hmm. So you just do this part, get your answer, and then you do this part and get your answer. Alright, let's try another one. And you can do this one on your paper to see if you can figure it out. 3 times 10 to the third power divided by 6 times 10 to the sixth power. Okay. What's my first step? Um, you divide the two numbers in the front. Okay. 3 divided by 6. 3 divided by 6. Now, decimals there, even if you can't see it, remember that rule? Okay? 
Move the decimal up. And 6 times 5 is 30. Okay, so it's 0.5 is our answer. 0.5. Times 10. And then what do I do with these? You should subtract them. I do. Negative 3. 3 minus 6 would be negative 3. Okay. Now stay with me. This almost looks like it's correct. Okay? But it's not. Because you know why? The decimal is, as, is supposed to be after the first non-zero number. Well, 5 is not a 0, so it's a non-zero number. So the decimal is supposed to be after this. Okay, so stay with me. I'm going to take my 0.5 times 10 to the negative third, and I'm going to make it into a standard number. Times 10 to the negative third means what? Means I move my decimal three places to the left because it's a negative number. Do you get that? So I'm going to take my decimal and I'm going to go three places, one, two, three, to the left. And that's what this is in this form. Okay, so as I was saying, we moved it negative three, so we went one, two, three to make it a standard number. But where is the decimal supposed to go? Uh, after, that. after the first non-zero number. So, how many jumps do I have? Four. Four. So I take this decimal and put it after the five, and I change this negative three to a positive one. Negative oh. four, because we have one, two, three, four. See how we did that? Was that too hard? Not too much? Okay, let's do a few more. Just make sure I'm getting it. Okay? Here we go. Ready? 2 times 10, and this one's a negative one, negative 2, over 8 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay, what am I supposed to do first? Uh, you divide 2 by 8. Okay, 2 divided by 8. Again, the decimal's here, even if you can't see it. Um, so 8 goes into 20, 8 times 2, 16, 4, out of 0, 0.25. Okay, so I'm going to put 0.25 as my answer. Okay, then you say times 10. Okay, then we do this. Now remember, what am I doing to these two? I am... Um, Subtracting them. So, I'm putting negative 2 minus negative 8. Yeesh. Remember what I told you to do with these? Make this a plus instead of a minus, and then you change the sign to the right. Positive. You see that? So, negative 2 plus 8 becomes what? Positive 6, right? So, this becomes 6. Alright? Now, this looks like the right answer, but what's wrong with it? Uh, the decimals are wrong. It's supposed to come after the first non-zero number, so it should go here. Okay, so how do we figure out what to do with it? We take this, 0.25, what's times 10 to the 6th? Well, because it's a positive number, you move to the right. So I'm going to take this decimal and move it 6 places to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now stay with me. The decimal's in the front of the two, but where is it supposed to be? Behind the five. Um, after the well, first front nine. Of the five. In front of the five, behind the two, after the first nine zero number. So, oh, okay. it's supposed to go here. So if it goes here, how many jumps do we have? Five. So when I moved my decimal to here, it changed the six to five. You get that? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard. Okay? But keep watching and keep trying and practice them and you'll eventually get it. Okay? Alright, let's do A together <clears throat> on your lesson practices. Make sure you're getting it. And I'm going to let you do this one by yourself. And then we're going to review it at the end. So go ahead and write this down on your paper and do it by yourself. 3.6 times 10 to the ninth power over 
2 times 10 to the third power. All right. Work that at home. The third. Yep. Okay. Now I'm going to do my math over here. Okay, I think I did it. What'd you get? 1.8 times 10 to the 6. Woohoo! Good job! Okay, and is it in correct form? Yes. Yes, because the decimal is one spot after the first non zero number. Okay, very good. That's lesson 111.